हेलो एवरी वन होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टूडे ऑन अ बिहाफ ऑफ सी सी टी वी डेस्क वी कम अप विद न्यू वीडियो ऑफ एंड्रॉयड टी वी टूडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट अ वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट वन लाइक प्रोविजन कैम्प टू फॉर एंड्रॉयड टी वी सो बेसिकली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू वॉट इज प्रोविजन कैम टू फॉर एंड्रॉयड टी वी वॉट आर इट्स फीचर एंड फंक्शन then we'll tell you how you download and install this app on android tv and how you configure that to make the camera live and able to access all its feature so keep watching till end please like share our video and subscribe to our channel okay so let us start what is provision cam 2 for android tv basically it is a app which is used to connect as well as control the cctv camera on your android tv This is a program for monitoring the cam CCTV cameras on your Android TV screen. It is also used to monitor the cameras on remote locations over the internet. Mean remotely access you can ca- remotely access any camera. The main purpose of this app by using this app you are able to access live view of the camera. Not only the live view of the camera, but you can see the multiple channel at a time. You watch the recording of the cameras. You take the snapshot of the video. You control the PTZ camera. You save the live view of the camera. You can adjust the image parameter like brightness, color, etc. You take a backup of the recorded videos. You adjust the quality of the video recording and many more. So now just move on screen that how you download and ins- install this app on Android TV. so here on the screen first what you should do you should click on the setting option and go to the device preferences and here click on the security and there is a section and after that just click on the verify apps and unknown source you should tick this one okay when you installing this app just close it and after that you should open the play store on in google tv or in android tv here i open my play store and search for file manager okay and here you should search for file manager the type file manager and here you find the file manager plus just click on this it is already installed but you should install it first okay what you should do you should open the pen drive or anything you in you insert in a android tv and now you should use optical mouse for opening the app and you should install your pen drive you, you should download two files in the pen drive one is set orientations and another 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 one is your provision cam 2 file okay where you get the file just google open the google chrome or open open the google search and search for provision cam 2 you find many website of apk okay you should write provision cam 2 apk now after installing this two apps just In, insert your pen drive in your android tv and optical mouse also when you insert it automatically open my pen drive i close this and i will tell you that how to open this one just open setting and go to apps and go to the file manager and click open here you find usb storage just click it here i download set orientation apk and provision cam 2 apk okay i should install set orientation apk first like this double click on this it is start installing i already install it so that it says just click installed just tick new and install because i already install it after installing open and just always select landscape okay 
and click OK. What is it? It, it said it should do. It should always open the app in a landscape mode. So the so if it it is open imported mode, it is very difficult to operate it. So this file is for that. I will give link in the description so that you can download this file also. Okay. Set orientation five, or you comment me. I will give the link also. Now up close this all the things and now install provision cam to apk just double click on it first start staging then it start installing okay click install now it start installing now it is installed now click open Click I read and accept. Click allow. Now click escape and click local. this packet and click continue now this is the interface we are talking about here you find the serial number ip domain and many more and cancel so serial number basically is used when you remotely you want to uh, remotely access any ip device like dvr nvr and you will not have a static ip so where you get serial number you should log in your device and go to the network option and go to the net option and tick net when you tick net you find the qr code and below the qr code you find the serial number okay you should enter serial number and device name you can put anything like test device whatever you want and it is asking for username and password username and password it is of the device device means dvr nvr and ip cam whatever you are adding okay now select ip domain so here you should insert a local ip address or a and port number device name username and password so you can find when you log in your device and go to the network option you should you should find dom ip ip address local ip address and port number okay by default port number is 80 so you can add by both method by using st static ip local ip if you want to static ip then you should also insert a static ip here okay and so i just select serial number i have both the options i will show you both the options but i go to the serial number here i insert the serial number now use remote tv remote and insert the serial number
uh, go to the device name you should put any device name like uh, home office factory factory whatever you want just leave it i just leave i just make a video for education and training purpose i leave it device name one and now click on the username and here i enter my username and here it asks me for password now here i should enter my password and now click preview by mouse and now to start connecting this is the camera now after connecting you find this is the camera comes live and just cancel it and just single click on the screen and first you found a uh, four square button which is basically to change the view of the camera and second one is for audio enable if the camera is audio enable click allow now in this way you can communicate with audio and again single click on the camera and the click on so if the camera is audio enable you you want uh, you are able to listen the voice from the camera again single click on the screen and go to the this option i option this is this option is enable for the fish eye camera and here you find a uh, super definition you can change the definition from here okay and this this or this option is for change the brightness color adjusting contrast all the thing you can change from here just close it again single screen of the camera and here you are able to ptz camera if the camera is ptz enable and here you find the recording of the check the recording like play button look it is start recording from 25th may from the night by default and here you find if you want to take the screenshot just click here it will take a screenshot and if you want to record the video just click on this it start recording Just close it. Now close the app and where this app gone i will tell you here you should click see all apps and here you find the provision camp 2 app just open it again open it it's by default open okay in this way you can open after installing So that's all about this app. 
थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग थैंक यू हैव अ नाइस डे